after receiving the information from the Russian ambassador and reviewing it along with all other information available, Christian went on, the president asked Secretary of State Dean Rusk to call in Ambassador Dobrynin tonight to discuss the matter further. Christian would not give the exact time the president learned of the reported difficulties in Czechoslovakia, but he said it was while Secretary of State Dean Rusk was testifying tonight before the Democratic platform hearings here in Washington. According to Christian, those present at the meeting tonight at the White House, besides the president, were Vice President Humphrey, Secretary of State Dean Rusk, Secretary of Defense Clark Clifford, CIA Director Richard Helms, Director of the USIA Leonard Marks, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General Earl Wheeler, and Presidential Advisor Walt Rostow. Christian refused to elaborate on the meeting, but he said it lasted just a little under an hour and gave a firm no to reporters when asked if the hotline to Moscow had been used. Mariah McLaughlin, CBS News at the White House. Travel from Czechoslovakia to the West has been barred as of several hours ago, according to the Austrian Interior Ministry in a dispatch from Vienna. It also added that starting on Tuesday midnight, travel to Hungary from Austria was also banned. An official of the Interior Ministry in Austria went on to say that tanks were blocking the bridge at Bratislava in eastern Czechoslovakia. He said he was told by Austrian travelers still allowed to pass the Czechoslovak checkpoint that tank soldiers ordered them to go back to Austria. Shortly later, travel was also blocked at the checkpoint, according to that word from Vienna. Secretary of State Rusk was called away from an evening session of the Democratic Platform Committee, which was hearing testimony in Washington when news of the Czech invasion broke. CBN